Hello everyone, welcome to the recitation 0B. This recitation is about the fundamentals of NumPy. So in this recitation, we will cover the installation of NumPy, how to initialize NumPy arrays, accessing and modifying data, pivoting data, combining data, and some commonly used math operations. So firstly, we will talk about the installation. Um, generally, NumPy is a pre-install library on Colab or AWS. So you should be able to first check if NumPy is available in its version. Uh, to do that, we can uh, type in the command line as pipe show NumPy with a exclamation mark in front of it on Colab. And we will see the uh, name of the library is NumPy and the version of the NumPy. If the NumPy is not pre-installed, we can manually install NumPy by typing uh, pipe install NumPy and you should be able to easily install the NumPy library. To double check if the NumPy is installed successfully, we can import NumPy as NP and after that we set the, the randomization seed to zero. If there's no error showing up, that means you have a, a NumPy library installed successfully. So after that, we come to the initial initialization of the new NumPy arrays. There are uh, several different ways to do that. So firstly, we can create a, uh, an empty array, zeros array, or ones array. So to do that, we can call several uh, different functions as np.empty, np.zeros, np.ones. So for all three of them, the input arguments is the size of the array. So here, like the size is two by two, uh, two by three, and four by two. So we should be able to uh, upload a empty array, um, array with all zeros values and a array with all ones, uh, ones values. Uh, there's another function called np.false that, that can return a new array with a given shape and type and also filled with the uh, uh, given value. So here the first argument is a two by two is the size of the array and also 10 is a, a filling values. So here we can see the output is a filled array with all 10 all tens in the array and also with a dimension of two by two. Another set of ways to uh, create a new array is uh, np.zeros like, ones like, and full like. So these functions can return an array of zeros, ones, or uh, specific values with the same shape and the type as a given array. So for all of them, the arguments is a is a predefined array. And so we can we can see here like if we input it. Input is once array, here the size is a four by two. And after calling the np.zeros like, we will return a uh, array with all zeros value and but the dimension is four by two. And for the np.full like uh, function, we have to input a uh, given array as well as a specif uh, specified value here we defined as 0 0.1. Also, we can change the type to np.double. Another way to create array is from is from the existing data. So we can first initialize a, a Python list here with uh, one, two, three, four values, and we can convert it to a empty array by calling empty array over this list. And we can see the output array is is with the same values, and also the dimension is four. Uh, instead of uh, creating a array from the existing list, we can also create an array uh, by loading data from a txt file. And to do that, we can call the np.loadtxt. Uh, and also we can do um, loading data from a npy file by doing, uh, by calling np.load. Um, another one is the uh, numerical ranges. So here we, have two uh, commonly used function. One is np.arrange and another one is np.link space. So for np.arrange, it will return eventually spaced values within a given interval. So here the argument is 10. So we can say it returns a array uh, from zero to nine and the dimension is 10. And for the uh, np.link space, we define the lower bound as two and the upper bound as three and we define we want five value, uh, five elements in the array, and we don't want to include the endpoint. So the return uh, is a evenly spaced array given the range, and also the dimension is fine. 
the last one, but a uh, very important one is to create array with random values. So a basic one is to create an array of the given shape and uh, populate it with random samples from a uniform distribution over zero to uh, zero to one. So by uh, to do that, we will call the function numpy uh, np dot random dot rand, and we give the uh, size of the uh, array. So after that, we can uh, return a uniform a, a random array uh, following the uniform distribution. Also, we can return random integers from uh, a lower bound to a upper bound. So here we use a np dot random dot random int. Uh, and also we define the upper bound as five and the size is two by four. Another, another way is to um, return a, a random array with a, uh, by following a normal distribution or Gaussian distribution. So we define the mean uh, as three and the standard deviation and 2.5 and the weight plus the mean and the standard deviation multiplying with the uh, mp.random random dot random n and uh, we define the size of the array to two by four and after that we will re uh, return an array with samples following the um, Gaussian distribution as we can see here. 